Okay, so I went ahead and I think the timing. Um, could figure that my timing was only off about 10 degrees from where I guessed it would be. With the timing that I confirmed it was about 10 degrees off. So not bad for a good start. So for our first start, and I guess. Um, so now I'm about to take Julius out for its first, its first drive, its maiden voyage on the Speedway no issue. So alrighty, so a few minutes in again. You guys are probably tired of seeing me driving around so a few minutes in everything seems to be good um afrs are okay so i'm gonna put on my head cam now i'm gonna give you guys a good shot of because it's a beautiful day outside so i'm gonna give you guys a shot of that guys hoping the shot is good it's always the tricky part of the road So again, I, I removed my, my AEM white band and then now I'm using a 14.7, um, I think it's a Spartan 2, so it doesn't have a display, so it's going directly to the CU. Uh, right around here, without any changes to the base tune, it's, we've seen a, right now, seen like a 14.1, target should be around a 14.7, so it's a little bit richer, but that's okay for now. Just gonna drive it. I'm gonna try to get as much data as I can throughout the, the fuel table, and then I am going to use that data log to make a couple tweaks. Since I don't have anyone to drive the car for me and tune, and I don't really like using auto tune, so just gonna data log and then tune afterwards. So far, the dry shaft wobble seems to be gone. I um, still have a squeaky clutch pedal, as you guys are probably hearing. Um, the vibration is gone in the dry shaft, so that is good. There is a little rattling sound somewhere, but again, it's a 35 year old car, right? So, that's gonna get as much data as I can with this one. Okay, so, so far, so good. We're coming up after this corner, we're coming up to a straightaway, so I am going to use that opportunity to, to get some. I wouldn't say boost, but maybe some mild boost, maybe a pound or two. So I'm just going to get on it. I'm in third gear. All right. And this vehicle is going to cut across me. All right, so it looks like there's some overhead work happening on the street, so I'm not going to get much room to do. Maybe I might just get a second or two. So right here. Should be a pound of boost. Very rich. I think I saw it go down into the 11s, but I have to concentrate on the road because I am on a public street, so it felt good, it sounded good. So at least I have a little bit of data to work with. At least I know what it's doing at around. I think I may have hit maybe three or so pounds of boost. So at least I have some data at that point, so which I can use to build the rest of the map. Because everything in there was just a base tune. Vacuum was good, um, but boost was a little bit rich. 11s, not bad I mean for a base, a base tune, but uh, still a little bit rich. And we're back, but not without any incident. So for some reason, my fan stopped working. I'm not sure if the relay went out or the fuse. Um, but then I have a histogram pulled up, and this is just my error. So my how far off the tune is. And whenever you see the negative, for instance, negative 3, it means that my tune was 3% through which I don't have any closed loop to none. Everything was in open loop. That's the kind of data I want to see. So for, let me just open this up. So our base tune, this is pretty good. So we can see in the mid range around cruising, we're about 3% here, 2000, we're about 5% off. 2500, I was about 70%. Hopefully, you guys can see this. I think there was a glare, but about 1000, 1500, we are around 2% off cruise in the cruising zone, which is good. Um, right at the 2000 range, we are around 5% off, and as we go higher, 2500. 
to 3,000, we are around anywhere from around 5 to 7% off. That is perfectly fine for a base tube. And as we end up higher in the load, when we get to atmospheric pressure, we are around 20, um, 9% off, 7 to 9% off, not bad. When we're in the 126 area, which is right around 4 pounds of boost, we are around 13% off, again, not bad. And I think we got to as high as one, we may have hit wastegate pressure. Let me pull this up. So here, looks like at the end of our quote-unquote short pull, we're making right around 155 kPa, which is eight and a half pounds of boost, 8.8 .8 pounds of boost. And I dropped down, I was in the 11s, most of it, and two pounds of boost, roughly 11s. And then as soon as the boost hits anywhere above three pounds and up, three to eight, it drops down into the 10s. So again, very rich, but not rich where I would say it would hurt anything. So. I'm just going to use all of that data and I'm going to, at least I have some data to work with to know that my vacuum is not too far off. Boost is a little bit rich, but at least now I can know the direction. So the next time that I go out, at least I know how the tune looks and at least I'm not that far off within reason. So I'm just going to continue tweaking at that and then we'll see where we end up at the end of the day. All right, so I made some changes and I'm back out for another drive. Let's see how close my first round of changes are. You can hear my fuel pump singing its life away. Must be low on fuel, but I am monitoring fuel pressure, so let's see if I was accurate. When I get back, I'll look at the logs. Oh yeah. So I can see here files uh, right around a 14.6. My target is a 14, 14 8 cruising around. So that's good. Okay, fuel pressure seems to have stabilized. It's at 37, 38 psi, which is what my regulator pressure is at, anyways. See fuel pressure drop one psi. I'm not sure if that does the regulator or if I'm indeed running out of fuel. I did not check the cell before I left, and my gauge does not work. So. Probably not gonna do any boost pulls, but I don't want to have to call anyone to tow me home. Or pull the car home anyways. Vehicle speed sensor is showing right around 53, and if I look at my cluster, it's matching. So that is a good thing. My vehicle speed sensor is calibrated properly. That little rattling sound, I think that's a little sheem or something that goes on the dry shaft between the carrier bearings. So I think that is what rattling its life away. There's nothing to hold it in place. It's just almost uh, like a sheem just floating in between. So uh, I don't know. Nothing I can really do about that. <laughs> All right. So far, so good. I see fuel pressure dropping down to 30. So I think I'm out of fuel. I think I should head back. I will turn as soon as I can. Then I think I'm out of fuel. I only put a gallon, gallon and a half in it. And I did a lot of idling and idle revving. So that might be me out of fuel now. Let's see if it'll get me home or if I have to call someone. I'm really hoping that it gets me home. <laughs> Okay, so I. <laughs> okay, so I was wrong. So the laptop screen actually froze. 
so that <laughs> false alarm guys it's a good thing too because I wasn't data logging let me start a log so it froze I was wondering why my RPMs were staying right at 1200 Whew. so I'll try to capture some data and it looks like Feel pressure is holding good, so I may be able to do a wide open throttle pull. Or at least give it some throttle to see what this looks like. Still at 37, so that is good. But I'm not gonna trust it to drive it anymore. Okay, so I am hoping the glare is not there again. Let me try my best. So this time around, um, in the mid range, cruising around, we're still around 2% off, 2 to 4, depends on where you look. And in boost, it's 3%, 1%, 4%, 3%. So, well, within where I would be comfortable with. In boost, anyways, I usually aim for like around 2% off, and I'm usually happy with that. So, 3% for second round of changes, that is very good. And this time the fan came on, the car did not overheat this time, so I'm happy about that. So, gonna probably mic it there. Almost looks like it's peeing now. So, probably gonna end it here for today. So, Judas is working good. Um, I had a scare, I think you will really see that. So, the ECU for not the ECU, the laptop for the reason froze, and I thought I was about to run out of fuel, but false alarm. Um, so, now just gonna do some more tweaks and probably gonna end it here. So, yeah, we're gonna just gonna have to watch the next video to see what happens after I'm done editing this one. So, until next time, peace.